After nearly 15 years and 28 miles exploring the Red Planet, NASA's Opportunity rover on Mars has gone silent for good. With me today is Dr. Lori Glaze, Acting direct Director of NASA's Planetary Science Division. And uh, you know she was there when the last signals were, were sent to try to call Opportunity. Uh, Dr. L Dr. Glaze, thanks for being with us today. It's my pleasure, thank you. Well, Lori, it's, it's you know 15 years uh, of uh, exploring Mars. Uh, seems like Opportunity was always kind of the rover that could. How are you feeling now that uh, uh, the rover has, has gone silent and the, the mission is over? It's a little bittersweet, I have to say, uh, being here uh, at JPL today and, and trying to celebrate with the team the, the life of the Opportunity rover. Uh, we, you, know, you come to know them as your as your friends and your family. The the rovers that we've we've watched them. They've they've opened up the whole Mars landscape for uh, an entire uh, generation of people. So, you know, it's been an incredible ride. They've done they performed so far beyond uh, what anyone ever expected. They were only designed to last for 90 days, and Opportunity ended up uh, really operating uh, full speed ahead for 14 and a half years. And, and so, as I said, we're, we're celebrating all of the victories and all of the successes, but it, it's, it's always hard to, to let go. Now, you know, Opportunity is one of, of two rovers uh, for, for this mission. Spirit uh, actually arrived first. And, and I'm, I'm curious kind of what stands out to you of, of this mission, or maybe just with Opportunity's discoveries itself, um, that you're going to remember as kind of one of the big takeaways from the, the, the exploration. What stands out for me are, are kind of two things for uh, this Mars Exploration Rover project. Uh, both the Spirit and Opportunity rovers really opened the door to a, a new way of exploring planetary environments, to really uh, explore as a, as a field geologist would here on Earth, uh, but to have this kind of physical extension of our, our uh, geologists, but that physical extension on, on the surface of Mars uh, really changed the way we think about doing science, uh, being able to roll right up to the rock and, and take a look and break it open and, and really kind of get a sense of what it's made of. Um, so that was one, uh, to me, a, a lasting legacy. But from a scientific perspective, uh, the Opportunity rover really uh, was the first uh, robotic spacecraft to land uh, someplace where there was a sedimentary deposit. So we knew that water must have been present in the past. And as it explored, it identified um, two very different uh, environments where water must have been present to form the, the types of rocks and minerals that we found there. And it was those discoveries, and particularly the, the discoveries that they had in Endeavour Crater, where they found uh, water that was kind of neutral in its, uh, in its pH values, so similar to the kinds of water where we think life could have uh, been harbored or could have formed in the past, that's really inspired um, a, all of the, the subsequent Mars exploration that's come to follow. Uh, with the Curiosity rover now exploring Gale Crater, uh, with Mars 2020 that's coming up uh, in the, launching in July of 2020 that will go to Jezero Crater to collect samples and eventually uh, a Mars sample return mission which will bring those samples back. You know, both Spirit and Opportunity in particular lasted so much longer than the initial 90 Martian days or sols that they were at least kind of pegged for uh, in the beginning. And I'm, I'm just wondering, what's the secret <laughs> that, that, uh, that helped them last so long? Is it just their, their design? Is it uh, uh, how uh, the, the engineers uh, at JPL and, and NASA learned how to, to drive them more efficiently? Um, is there a secret sauce there? I think there's a couple pieces to that secret sauce, and one of them is the the team here uh, is just absolutely incredible. Um, the 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 team of scientists and engineers uh, has worked together. Uh, you get some really unique chemistry with with this group of people, and I think they they certainly put their heart and soul into the original design, which was uh, solid and, and and could stand the test of time, could really work for 15 years. But on top of that, the team was incredibly uh, innovative and uh, ingenious. When when, when things would start to break down, they would find workarounds. They, they found ways to, uh, as things started to, to not work the way they should, there was a wheel that wouldn't work, and so they couldn't drive forward, so they decided to drive backwards. And so things like that, this team were able to really just work the Opportunity rover until they couldn't get one more piece of science out of it. It's just absolutely incredible. And ultimately, in the end, it wasn't even the spacecraft, it wasn't even the rover that um, stopped performing. It was Mars that decided that uh, it was going to generate up this big uh, dust storm, uh, which then cut off its, its lifeline with the power it needed to, to live, to continue to live on.